Alright guys, let's start the repair by opening the glove box. Next, we'll make our way to both ends of the glove box where we'll see two tabs. Grab a flathead screwdriver and slowly pry the tab down like so. The tab will then pop out. Once you're done with one side, move on to the other side. Once that tab is pushed down and released, your glove box will pop down. Here's a better view of the tab to see how it works and how it needs to be pushed down. This right here is the cover for your cabin air filter. There's two tabs holding this cover in place. Start from one side, pull the tab towards the other, at the same time pulling the cover back. Once one side is loose, make your way to the other. Once both tabs are pulled in and the cover is loose, carefully pull out the cover and put it to the side so it's out of your way. As you can see here, we can't really quite see the cabin air filter. That's because the recirculation flap is in the way. Now make your way to the driver's side and start the car. Now you guys could do this first, however, I did want to show you how the recirculation flap works and to visually confirm that the recirc flap does open. Start your car so that all your AC controls are visible. Once all your AC controls are visible, hit recirculation. With the recirculation flap open, we can now see the tray that holds the cabin air filter. If you look closely, we'll see the tray has a marking that says up, marking the airflow. Keep note of that. Now with everything out of the way, we can remove the tray and the cabin filter which slides right out. Now that the tray is fully removed, we can now remove the cabin air filter. Very easy guys, just squeeze one side, making sure it clears the plastic tabs, turn it around, pull it out. Just like the tray, your cabin filter will have a marking that says up, marking airflow as well. Take your new cabin air filter and just match up that marking, making sure they're both pointing the same way. Just like removal, we'll install it the same way. Squeeze the cabin filter, making sure all four tabs are up, locking it in place. Reinstall the cabin air filter and the tray back to where it came from. At the same time, still making sure that the cabin air filter is pointing the same way of the airflow. Pretty cool thing, but if your AC is actually running, it causes suction and sucks it right in. Quick tip for you guys, um, if your car is still running, hit recirc one more time just to make sure that recirc flap comes down and is not hitting the air filter. It may take about 10 to 20 seconds, so be patient. Once you make sure everything's clear, reinstall the cover, then just close your glove box with a little bit of force and the tabs will pop back in place, like so. Then make sure it just catches and then close it. Lastly, just double check to make sure everything opens and closes. And then you're done. If you liked or found this video informative, please support me by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel for more how-to and tour review videos. Also, check me out on Instagram at ToolGuyY where I post daily. Thank you guys again for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Shoots!